Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set this Foscam FI9D853EP. So this is a power over Ethernet IP camera. And what that means is that if you have a network video recorder or if a router that supports the power over the Ethernet cable, the network cable, then you do not need to use the power cable that came with this camera. Like for example, my router, it does not support it. So I still need to use the power cable that came with it. If you want to see what the power cable looks like, you can just check out my unboxing video. In the box, it came with a power cable. It also came with a network cable. So since my router does not support the power over Ethernet, I'm going to use the power cable that came in the box. And also, with this unit, you can mount it on a wall first. This is really meant for mounting on the ceiling or mounting on a wall. Then plug it into your, your network cable, plug it into your network, plug in the power. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just set this up here. And there are three connections or three tips here. The one with the white tip is a reset button, so I'm leave that be. The other one, the other circular one, this is where I'll plug the power cable into. So I'm going to plug this power cable into it. Then the one that's a square, that's for the network cable. So I'm going to plug the network cable into it. Make sure you hear the click. And for this device, I'm going to be setting this up using the Foscam Viewer app. The Foscam Viewer app is free in the iOS App Store. It's also free in the Google Play Store. So on the Foscam Viewer app, I'm just going to launch the app. I'm going to head to the IPC on the bottom. Then on the second row from the bottom, there's a magnifying glass that looks like it's scanning a QR code. That's because on this cable, on the same connection that's I plugged the network cable into it. There is a QR code over here. So I'll just take this Foscam View Wrap. I'm gonna press this that little icon there that scans the magnifying glass, scanning the the QR code. Then I'm gonna scan this QR code here. That scans it. The default username and password is printed on the opposite side of this of this sticker, this QR code sticker. So you can give it a name, any name you want. I'm gonna call it 53E. The default username is admin, A D M I N. Password, the default password is blank. So I'm gonna hit OK. So ask access. Then I'm gonna hit back. Now I'm gonna try to connect to the 53E that I just added. All right. So for default, they want you to change the user ID and password for security reasons. So I'm going to say I'm going right, to modify, check the modify username, enable the modify password. I'm going to give a new username. I'm just going to call it uh, Rocket. Then for the new password, I'm going to call it uh, Register. All right, then I'm going to hit OK. Next, I'm going to hit the IPC again on, on the bottom. Currently, the 53 is red. I'm going to Click on it. All right, now it says connected successfully. So the camera is now viewing. Let's view my device. That's that's essentially it. Because this is a this is not a wireless IP camera. This was this one's is communicated using the network cable. Setup is very straightforward, very simple. Now let's say you're in front of a computer and you just want to use a computer to view this camera. You can. You, you can just use like the IP camera tool that's on the CD that came on this device where you can always download an IP camera tool from the Foscam.us website. And here, I'm gonna just, it scans my network. So here, this is the unit. I'm gonna double click on it. Now I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna trust this. And if you don't have the HD plugin installed, you should install it. If you don't install it, you can't view it. So uh, since I changed the username and password, I'll need to update this and put in password. Here's put my username, password, and hit login. All right, so I'm gonna click on live video and it's right there. Using the IP camera tool is a quick way to find the internal IP address of this camera to just quickly connect to it. Let's say I wanted to have a, have a static IP, I can just go to Settings, then go to Network, IP Configuration. And here, I'll just uncheck the box that says Obtain DHCP and just specify an IP address. It'll always be that IP address. 
Typically, you'll want to do this if, let's say, you're going to create a port forwarding rule just so you can access this camera from outside the network. Those who have used the Foskey IP cameras in the past, you'll find that the settings page is identical with the other Foskey IP cameras. Now, in my opinion, this IP camera is on VIF, it's powered over Ethernet, supported, and I think most people who purchase this will actually be using this for like a security camera and have it connected to and managed by a network video recorder. So in that case, uh, you probably will not want to make any, any changes in the settings page. You'll probably want to administer everything through the Avif uh, network video recorder, the security set of system that you've going to that you are going to purchase later on or have purchased. And if you're not going to use the network video recorder, then you can always access the settings page and manage each camera individually. Thank you for watching this video on how to set up the Foscam F59853EP. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Oprah Hamster. Bye.